Hello everybody. This is M M A S M R, and I'm here today with a quick little video. I was not planning to make this, but as some of you know, I review toys and games, and I recently got this game in the mail. It just came today, and it's a brand new game. It's called The Game Plan, and I haven't actually played the game yet, but it has this really awesome board. Look at the colors and the details. It's got these really cool illustrations. And I thought that this would be a fun thing to make an ASMR video on, where we basically just go over all the illustrations with the MM stick. I'm sorry if this video is a little wobbly. My um, tripod is at its, basically it's in its death throes. And until my new one comes from Amazon, I already ordered it. But until it comes from Amazon, the camera might be a little unstable, so I do apologize. So anyway, I'm just going to approach this the way that I approach the detailed um, images that I find in the uh, newspapers that a lot of you guys have liked going over. So um, we're going to start at the corner. So this is the right bottom corner of the board. And we're just going to go all the way around and we are going to explore every section of this. Now this is a, um, a game, you know, it, there's this, this little road where we have red and yellow and blue and green pegs. I'm sorry if you hear screaming, I do not have a hostage in my house, that's the wind outside, it's extremely windy tonight. So if you hear something sounding like a, a screaming banshee, it's the wind. So anyway, um, basically I have not played the game yet, so I can't really comment on that. But basically, the game board looks like a community, so we'll go over everything we see in this community. So firstly, there's a man here in a hard hat, and he's got a wicker pal out, and he's walking along the grass, and there's another person here looking on their phone, and they look kind of agitated, there's a little exclamation point over their heads, little mushrooms here, and then up here we have a policeman on a motorbike. And then here we have a man on a cell phone holding a shopping bag. And there's a woman, looks like his wife, and she's with him with a shopping cart. And then you have this girl jogging. And you have this elderly gentleman with a cane. And then if we move up a little bit, we have Girl Scouts selling cookies. And there's a bridge right here. And there's a river some bushes and this here is supposed to represent a store um this doesn't come with any stores this is where you would set cards there's four um packs of cards so i would have a pack of cards for the store right here but yeah, i guess you can just envision or pretend there's a store here and here's a man walking a baby's carriage or a pram and it's a pink pram so i'm assuming there's a little girl in there and you can see her little hand and then there's another family here. And it looks like a lady blowing bubbles. And then there's another lady holding a little baby on her shoulders. That's a very cute scene. Oh, and then here we have a construction worker and he's holding a shovel and he's digging a hole. And then here's a little boy in a bike. And then if we come up here to the Raging River a little bit, or the, I guess it's not really a Raging River, it's more like a Lazy River. There's another bridge here and here, and there's a man fishing. And then over here in the center, we have a tree house with one, two, three kids waving, two at the trunk of the tree. Then we have a ladder of the um, tree house, this little girl waving, and we have trees. And here's a clock. Oh, and then we have an ice cream van here. It's a pink ice cream van with one, two, three people. It looks like a dad and two little girls. And this girl's wearing green and this girl's wearing pink. She's wearing red and purple. And the ice cream man is giving her, it looks like a two scoop ice cream. One scoop is yellow or yeah, yellow. And one scoop is pink. We'll go back to this scene over there later. But now this is where the game technically starts. And again, I haven't played it yet, but I will test it out tomorrow. 
And if you come around here, you have another bridge by the river. And I love how all the bridges are a little different. This is a stone bridge. This is also a stone bridge, but it's more curved. Like this one's blocks, this one's curved. And then this one up here is more like a traditional uh, string bridge or drawer bridge. Not a drawer bridge, I forget what you call these. Um, um, oh, there's a term for these and I can't remember the name of it. And there's a ton of them in New York, so I should know it. But if anybody remembers, tell me in the comments section. I'm filming this, it's uh, 3.46 in the morning, so I'm definitely not at my sharpest. This was a very impromptu type of video. Um, so anyway, then over in this section, we have a playground. And in this playground, we have two little boys on a swing set. One's in an orange shirt, the other's in a red shirt. And we have the cart, the area here says the park. And then these little boys are in what they call them, you know, um, in America, we, we actually do call these like merry-go-rounds or, or carousels, even though they're not the traditional ones with the horses. They're basically these little things that you, um, it, they're embedded into the ground in the park and then one kid stands on it and the other kid pushes it and it will spin around really fast. Um, I don't know, I've just heard them referred to as merry-go-rounds. Um, even though that's kind of, I guess you could also call them like whirly, whirly gigs, twirly gigs, but, um, they're a lot of fun. You don't see them in the playgrounds too much anymore. I guess, same as swings, I guess, due to like safety issues, but they're a lot of fun. Yeah. And then, there's a man, or a lady rather, walking a dog, and the dog has just gone to the bathroom. And it looks very pleased with itself. It looks like it's a golden retriever or a golden lab. And down here we have an older man walking with a cane and this little boy is helping him with his groceries. We have this person dressed up as a teddy bear and he is handing out balloons. It's this little kid here. And the kid's wearing a yellow shirt and red shorts. And the balloons are blue, yellow, green, and pink. And then look at all the beautiful flowers down here. Yellow flowers and orange flowers and blue flowers. Very nice. And here's a man holding a soccer ball or a football out to this lady with blonde hair and she looks like she's warming up or doing exercises oh, and then here's a slide because every playground has have a slide and then over here we have um two kids on a seesaw or a teeter-totter i'm gonna turn this around now and yes and notice the start is here and then you go all the way around the board and the finish is here, which I thought was kind of cool. <laughs> so, well, we already explored the finish section. So let me turn this now. I like the way that this board is very 360, very cool. So anyway, there are the kids on the uh, seesaw, or the teeter-totter, whatever you want to call it. And then we have two girls here hula hooping. This girl's in a red shirt, this girl's in a blue and a yellow shirt. And the hula hoops are blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. And my mom, when she was younger, was really good at playing with the hula hoop. Um, I am terrible at hula hoop. I've always been bad at it. I just, it, it's pathetic. Um, I'm terrible with it. And then here's a lady with a young boy. And they're sitting on a purple blanket or a lavender blanket. And he's reading a book. It looks like she's encouraging him. Perhaps she's teaching him to read. And then this is either a, like, um... A backpack or a bag that maybe they put lunch in or it could be the back of a boombox I'm not sure and then over here is a looks like a grandma wearing a pink shirt and a blue skirt and it looks like she's celebrating her birthday with a chocolate cake with these two little kids it might be this girl's birthday here at the center and the sign says happy birthday and then there's bench here and there's a boy riding a scooter here that is red and yellow with blue wheels and then we have a street lamp and another street light and then this lady dressed in pink with the red pant leg is flying a kite and then this is a man that's standing in the park smoking which is not a very good thing to do for your health especially around kids but he's got a cute dog that this little girl's petting and here's another man with another dog that looks very pleased. And I love the details of the grass and the flowers. So cool. And then we'll 
turn this around. And then we have, sorry for the glare from my phone. So we have, let's see if I can get rid of the glare. I had to put my light on because my light in the background is, is short circuiting. Um, so then we have these three kids sitting on the ground and they are, two of them are reading. And he looks like he's just talking to them as they're trying to read. And then these two ladies are also having a conversation. And here's a fountain, a water fountain, or maybe the fountain of youth, who knows. And then this little girl is standing under the streetlight with a book. It's a green book. And these kids, there's one, two, three, four people in a circle. It looks like they're all reading. And then these two little boys are sitting there eating ice cream. And this young man is walking by, listening to music with red headphones. And as you can see, the library is supposed to be here, which explains all the books. And there goes a yellow school bus at the bus stop. And then there is a little girl here. It looks like she's waving to this man across the street. She's standing behind these bushes. So we're gonna start driving this now. And so the bus is driving away. And then here's this man with the briefcase walking towards the little girl, who I assume is his daughter. And there's supposedly a school here, which explains the presence of the bus. And we see this boy dressed up in a, it looks like a um, basketball uniform maybe. And a little girl in yellow. And this boy in the green shirt with the blue pants and a net. Looks like he might be out catching butterflies. And here's a girl with a watering can. And look, she's watering a garden. Uh, here in New York, we actually have some programs at uh, Botanical Gardens where people can grow their own gardens. Like you can basically rent like a little um, section of the garden to grow your own flowers and vegetables. And it looks like she's doing something like that. So she's growing pink flowers. And it looks like almost little cactuses. Or maybe there's some sort of lettuce or something edible. And there's a blue butterfly that she's attracted. And there's a red butterfly here and a yellow butterfly. So that's why he has the net. Hopefully he catches them and then releases them safely. And then here is, sorry for the glare again. And then here are two kids that look like they are saying goodbye for the day so this boy is wearing a blue shirt he's got a yellow black pack and orange shoes this girl has a orange dress on with fabulous pink boots and a little cute purple purse and they're waving to this person across the street who has a nice orange backpack and here's another boy he's a bespeckled boy holding a book about to cross the street and then this kid is blowing bubbles and this person is the crossing guard because look, you have a crossway here. And this sign says stop. This sign says go. Over here we have yellow flower. What am I saying? White flowers with a yellow center. Here we have yellow flowers with an orange center. And these are orange flowers with a yellow center. And then we have two ladies here. They look like maybe a mom and a daughter, or perhaps their sisters. And this lady in the pink dress looks very happy to see this lady in the white dress with the black polka dots. And she's pushing a baby carriage or pram that is orange with white polka dots. And it looks like she's got a baby in there. Well, who knows, maybe she has a dog or even a pig. I've seen some people transport their pets around in these carriages. But this lady is very happy to see that Ms. Ever is inside the pram. And we'll turn this around. And here it looks like we have train tracks. And then over here is, this is a girl after my own heart. She is feeding the birds. See, she's throwing food and these cute little birds, one, two, three, are eating it up. It looks like doves. Um, I'm a crazy animal lady. I carry around food for birds and squirrels and stuff with me everywhere I go. So this is totally me. And she has an accomplice here, this boy in blue. And there's more beautiful flowers around, orange and purple flowers, and pink and yellow mushrooms, and here are some shrubs, and a beautiful blue butterfly, and a purple car, and it looks like these people have come out of the car, and it's uh, a lady with blonde hair, and a little girl with blonde hair, and a boy in a green cap, and it looks like they're waving to this man who is jogging, all in black, with a headband, and look, more flowers. 
beautiful color. She looks like she's admiring the purple flower. So they're the same color purple as the car. And then over here, to go back here, you have the railway co crossing sign. And then this man crossing the street with this little boy. And as you can see, there's a crosswalk sign. And again, more flowers and butterflies and mushrooms. And a football or soccer ball. And here's the crossway. And then we come up this way. Look, there's a Boy Scout troop. So there's the troop leader. Or maybe that's who they're waving to. Maybe they're not waving to the runner. Maybe they're waving to waving to the Boy Scout troop. So there's the troop leader. And he's got one, two, three Boy Scouts. But this one's running off to go get ice cream. So he's not very disciplined. <laughs> but I can't blame him. Who doesn't love ice cream, right? And you have the two troop leaders here. So this is the slightly taller boy. This is the shorter boy. This boy looks the tallest of them all. Troop leader waving to the mom. And then once again, we start to see the approach of the river. And there's the bridge. And then when we come back this way, there's the man on the motorcycle. There's the jogger. The couple coming out of the store. The Girl Scouts. And then once again, we are back to the beginning and we have covered absolutely everything. So I just wanted to make that quick little video. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And I'm sorry about the camera angle being a little off, but my tripods missed that fell. But thank you for watching and I will come back soon with more of these detailed drawings when I find them. Good night and sleep well.